lesson I'm going to show you three tools you can use to reharmonize the blues. We'll do some comping and soloing examples and I'll show you how reharmonizing a progression can open the door to all kinds of new ideas. If you're stuck in a rut playing the same old 1-4-5 blues and soloing using the blues scale and pentatonic scales, then this is the lesson for you. My name is Jack Roosh. Thank you for being here. Let's get into it. So before we get into reharmonizing, we have to go over real quick what a 12 bar blues is. Here's a chart of a very simplified version of a basic 1-4-5 12 bar blues. This is in the key of C, and you'll see that we start with the one chord, C7, and go to the four chord, F7, then back to the one chord, then to the four chord again, back to the one chord, and then up to the five chord, G7, followed by the four chord, and then the final two bars, which is referred to as the turnaround. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with this type of blues progression. I play it all the time. But what if we're comping and we want to add some more movement within the chords we're playing? And what if we're soloing and we want to add some more harmonic content to play off of? Well, this first device we can use is major 2-5-1s. So 2-5-1s can be inserted in a few different spots in the form to add more harmonic movement. The first place we're gonna add one is in bar four going to the four chord. Now a major two five one consists of a minor two chord followed by a dominant or some kind of altered dominant five chord then resolving to the one chord which in this case is F7, the chord we're heading to. So this is a two five one going to the four chord. Now we can also add a two five one in measure six going back to the one chord where we would play D minor to G7 and then resolving back to C. Now in measure nine and 10, we can um, substitute the five chord moving to the four chord to a two five one as well. And instead of going to G7 in bar nine, we can go to D minor seven followed by G7 in measure 10, and this brings us back to C7 in bar 11. And the last place we can use the same kind of movement is in the turnaround section. In the last bar, we can do a 2-5-1 to get back to C. So now I'm gonna play this new set of changes. I'll comp one time through to show you the chords, and then I'll solo over it one time through, and you can hear how having these new chords opens the door to some new ideas when soloing. we're going to use is minor 2-5-1s. A minor 2-5-1 is a harmonic device we can use to target a minor chord. It consists of a half diminished 2 chord, a dominant or altered dominant 5 chord, and resolving to a minor 1 chord. The first place we're going to use this is in bars 2 and 3. We're going to use a minor 2-5-1 to go to A minor, which is the relative minor of C. So B half diminished, followed by E7 or E7 altered, then resolving to A minor. This is very similar to the changes Charlie Parker used in his tune Blues for Alice. And this 2-5-1 really transitions nicely 
to our two, five, one going to the four chord. The other place we can use a minor two, five, one is in bar eight going to D minor. So E half diminished to A seven altered then to D minor. In this reharmonization, I'm also gonna go ahead and make the turnaround a full six, two, five by using A7 as a secondary dominant to resolve to D minor. So now I'm gonna play this set of changes. I'll comp again one time through and then solo one time through again. And again, uh, I'll use these new changes as a springboard to play new lines in my solos. I want to talk for a second about soloing over these changes. All I'm really doing in these solos is outlining the chords by playing chord tones. Basically, I'm just using the notes found within the chords. But by adding these new chords, I have a lot of new tones to target. This is a great way to break away from just playing out of a scale. By playing chord tones, you can play more melodically, and by adding more harmonic movement, you can play more interesting melodies. What's great about this is the band doesn't even have to play the chords you're outlining. Here I'm gonna solo over the first part of a basic 12 bar form. The backing track is just gonna go from the one chord to the four chord and back to the one chord. But I'm gonna use the chords from our last reharmonization and think about them in my head to inform the lines I'm playing. This is gonna allow me to play a solo that just would not be possible if I was just thinking about a scale. So for this final reharmonization, we're going to use some tritone substitutions. A tritone sub is when you substitute a dominant chord with a chord a tritone away. So C7 would become G flat 7. E7 would become B flat 7. So I'm going to insert tritone subs in every functioning dominant chord in the progression. So any chord that is functioning as a 5 chord in a 2-5-1. So instead of B half diminished to E7 to A minor, I'm going to use the tritone substitute of that E7, which is B flat 7, and I'm going to go B half diminished to B flat 7 down to A minor. And instead of G minor to C7 to F7, we're going to have G minor to G flat 7 to F7. Now this is something you might want to just pepper in in certain spots, but for the sake of this example, I'm going to use all the tritone subs. Again, I'll comp one time through and then solo.
hope you learned something new. If you watch this whole video, then you are a true champ. Check out my Patreon for transcriptions and backing tracks for this lesson. As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.